Android, Windows or iOS? Which one's best for you? I'm Luke Hopewell and thanks to Dick Smith, let's dive in and find out. There's a proverbial sea of choice when it comes to choosing a new tablet, and it can all be a bit overwhelming at times. But let's start with the iPad. At the very least, it's probably one of the most accessible and easy to use tablets on the market right now. With big beautiful screens and an easy to use operating system, it's great for first time tablet users to get familiar with such a device and make the most out of it in the least amount of time. There's a big emphasis on consumption apps for reading, watching and enjoying content on the iPad, as well as a few apps you can make stuff with and be productive on. Most importantly, it seems big gaming developers are starting to favour the iPad as a platform, meaning that great new games arrive first on this device. The downsides, however, include a very locked down approach inside Apple's walled garden, no expandable storage and a pretty premium price point for devices with a lot of storage like the higher end iPad Airs. Android is another great tablet operating system that gives you a world of choice by comparison. It's now the most popular tablet OS in Australia and because just about every manufacturer is making an Android tablet these days, you're spoiled for choice. Android tablets are often cheaper and more powerful in their specs than iPads, meaning you can do a lot more with them in terms of consumption, gaming and computing. You can also get the option for maximum customizability thanks to the nature of the Android operating system. You can change whatever you like to make the perfect tablet. Of course, this can make them a little confusing for first time users. Android tablets usually offer expandable storage and support a wider range of file formats for your media too. And thanks to Google Play, you've got more apps than you can shake a smartphone at. Windows tablets, meanwhile, are a new entrant in the battle for your bucks and they're super interesting to boot. If you've ever used Windows 8 on a desktop, you're instantly familiar with the operating environment. You get access to familiar programs like Office and legacy apps, and with the right ports you can plug in a USB hard drive, external monitor, or connect a Bluetooth keyboard to make it a pop-up PC of your very own. Be careful when selecting your specs if that's your intention, however. Most of these devices run on lower-powered Intel Atom chips, which aren't the do-anything-go-anywhere chips you might want them to be. If maximum productivity is your end game, check out something like this Surface Pro 3 here. Windows tablets are also relatively inexpensive and sit somewhere between Android and iOS in terms of cost. Whatever you're after, however, there's definitely a tablet out there for a price that will make your wallet happy.